Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I'm Narsgel and I welcome you to the Zerts of Iron 4 modding tutorial for total beginners. Today we will take a look on decisions. I hope you already saw first 5 videos because we will be building upon knowledge you have gained from them. Also make sure to claim that starter pack if you haven't already. Well let's do it. To start modding decisions we will go to our mod common decisions and here you have to open two files in the category this file decision categories and in the decisions this file which are decisions to explain what those mean in the game we will take a look on the decisions and basically this whole like sector is decision category so this for example category is propaganda efforts this is political actions and under that category, individual decisions are stored. So for example, this is radio propaganda decisions and so on. Therefore, before we start doing decisions, we have to set up our uh, decision category here. As before, I have prepared some notes for you. And you can see that this is one decision category. You can you has you have the ID of the decision category, then you have conditions for allowed, visible, available, and the priority of that decision category. It can, however, look just like this if you want. These things are optional. Now, what does these things do? Allowed is condition which must be satisfied in order for any nation to access that decision category. Allowed, as it's written here, is checked only at the game start. So usually you will only use country tag here. You can't put, for example, has war condition here because uh, this condition only checks at the game start, never again. Visible is um, tells you which conditions must be satisfied in order for you to be able to see those decisions. And the priority tells you how uh, will be the decisions category po positioned in this. The higher the priority, the higher those decisions decision category will be. What's important to note here is that these conditions you put here will be shared amongst all the decisions you create for that decision category as it is noted here. So usually you will only have decisions with allowed because you want those decisions to be allowed for example only for Sweden which we will do right now and also change Sweden and Let's do test decisions. This will be our category we will be using. So again, you always have to set up your decision category. Only now you can start creating decisions. As you can see, uh, this is the decision category and these are some decisions. Below we have them simplified without my notes, so it's more clear for you. We will now use our newly created decision category and put it into our decision folder, like so. And we also, of course, have to close it. Without any decisions in that category, it won't show you here in the decision menu in the game. We have to put some decisions into it first. Now, you basically have two different types of decisions. First decision type is the one that you only click and you get uh, some reward or effect immediately. That's this one. And then you have decisions which take some time to basically give you that effect. But they also can give you some effect when you select them and can give you some effects over time or modifiers over time. Let's begin the explanation on this decision which is just the click and go. I will copy it and put it into our category. Change the tag 
So it's unique, as I said, tech always must be unique from other decisions. And you can already see that it's showing here. Now, what's in the decision? This is the tag of the decision, this is the icon, which you see here, and these are three conditions. Allowed, as I already explained in the decision category, only checks at the game start. If you put, for example, your tag that these decisions uh, are supposed to show only for Sweden here, you don't have to put anything here, you can just delete it if you want. Visible, again, it's what conditions must be satisfied in order for you to see this decision. And available, what conditions must be satisfied in order to select the decisions. If we want to put some uh, condition here, for example, has war equals yes, which we will be able to see this decision only when we are at war, you will see that it's now hidden. And because we have no other decisions in that category, the whole category is hidden. If we were to extract it from the visible and put it to available, the same condition, the decision will now show and you will see that we can't um, press it because we are not at war. Fire only once means if you are able to select it once or multiple times. Cost means how much it costs to select this decision. You can make it free if you want. And complete effect is what you get when you select this decision. Again, I you have all my notes here. If you are interested, if it helps you, you can use this decision when you are making it. And lastly, we also have AI will do. It's similar to the one uh, you use in events or focuses. It will determine how the AI is likely to select this decision. Because it costs some political power, AI will prioritize to select decisions and spend their political power on decisions that uh, has higher number here. So this is the first type of decisions. Now let's copy the second one, which takes some time to complete. Let's change the AD so it's unique. You can see that it's showing here right now. We can make it free. And what we have here, these things are exactly the same as for the other decision. You can delete allowed. And then you have Fire only once, days remove and days re enable. Fire only once again means if you are able to select this decision multiple times or not. Days remove tells you how long will this decision take before it's basically completed or removed because these things might confuse you. But we will talk about them in a minute. And days re enable tells you if you complete the decision and it can be used here as well. If you complete this decision, how long will this decision to take before it's showed here again? So if in our first decision, this would be 10, it means that after selecting this decision and gaining its effect, it will take 10 in-game days before you can select this decision again. Now, in the, ad, in the continuous decision, we also have complete effect, modifier and remove effect. Complete effect is something you get right after you click this decision. Remove effect is something you get after this decision is removed, which it currently is after 120 days. And modifier is what you will get for that 120 days, what modifiers. So you put commands here and here and modifiers here. I already explained difference between them in the previous videos. Let's do some example so it's more clear for you. Let's search for at political power, which is command. So we will put it here into remove effect. Let's search for at war support which is again command, so we'll put it into the complete effect. And now let's search for modifiers and 
we clay war support and put it here into modifier. Now when we save it, you will see that this decision now affects when selected, we gain 10% war support, which is this. For 120 days, we get weekly war support, which is modifier, and after effects when it's removed, after that 120 days, we get 100 political power. And well, that's basically all of it. I think, you know, as soon as you got the basics about commands and conditions, this should be easy. Now let's do just a quick recap. Before you start to create decisions, you have to set decision category for them. Then you put decision category here and then you have your individual decisions. In the decisions, you have ID of the decisions, its icon, its conditions, allowed, visible, available. And if uh, it's supposed to fire only once, how much it costs and its effects. What to remember is that uh, what these conditions does, allowed is only checked at the game start, visible makes it hidden if the conditions aren't satisfied, available makes, makes the decision not selectable, then that you put effects here, modifiers here, effects here, and yeah, that's basically it. Well, I hope I wasn't too fast for you, but as I said, if you have watched the uh, Focus 3 video and then the National Spirit video, get to know comments, modifiers, conditions. You should have a pretty clear idea how this works. So there is no need to drag things out. In the next video, we will take a look on localization, which is the easiest out of all of this. So see you then. Bye.